we were asked to lead this congregation in a time of change, during a time of transition. And I think what became really clear very quickly was how much each of us really enjoyed working with the other person. We didn't actually know each other very well before. It sort of developed over time. And I will refer to us as an arranged marriage, right? We were asked to do this, both bringing our unique ideas and skills to the table and seeing if we could kind of blend them together. This is a, a different relationship than many of the other communities in our area where the model has traditionally been a, a senior rabbi by themselves. And, and I can't imagine the isolation that, that many of our friends and colleagues feel and knowing that, that that's not the case here. That we always have somebody to talk things over with, to laugh with, and, and to really just, I think, find a profound appreciation in the work that we do because we get to do it together with somebody who has similar understandings and experiences. I can't imagine being a senior rabbi anymore without having a co, without having someone to bounce ideas off of. Not just the halachic questions, the questions about Jewish practice, but the give and take I think that Jewish tradition is all about. We're taught actually to study Torah with a partner, with a friend. It's called chevruta, it's friendship. And what has developed here is a real rabbinic friendship of two women who really enjoy and appreciate each other, who can see each other for the fullness that they are and can share with the congregation. Just we're better together. Having somebody to consistently bounce ideas off of, who helps to keep you in check and to help you to actually be better in every moment, really do the best you can to, to deepen the work that you do and deepen the ways that you care and support people is just profound. This model emulates what we hope would be a model for a collaborative community. In a really thoughtful community, the lay leaders and the rabbis and all of the clergy, all of the professional staff, really have ongoing conversations about what works for the community, what's happening within the Jewish world, how can we be better, how can we go from good to great. And when you have a colleague who you're constantly kind of trying to expand the idea, it's just built in and we are modeling that for the congregation, that just because we've always done it this way, doesn't mean that we should continue doing it this way. We can take care of it together. I cannot That's wait nice. to see where we grow and where the community grows as a result of what we hope will be the model that we create of being in partnership. Really what could be better than that, than, than modeling a world that we want to see. Our tradition teaches us that when two people, two or more people come together to study Torah, God comes to dwell in that space. What a better idea for two rabbis to lead a congregation in terms of a model of God dwelling within the relationship that they have, and then God comes to dwell in the community as well.